Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson, we're continuing on with the dynamic weather script. But as you can see, since updating to Unity 5.3.1, I now have 10 yellow errors in my script. And this is because on the latest version of Unity, the way the particle system is both enabled and disabled has now changed so that's what we're going to go over in this lesson we're going to go over the new way of enabling and disabling particle systems and the first thing we need to do is create five new variables they can be of type private they're going to be of type particle system and now we're going to use dot emission module and we'll give it a name so in this case we'll say sun clouds and we'll close the line off and we'll put this into the comments so we'll say defines naming convention for sun clouds emission module And we'll just copy that line there and we're going to paste it in four more times and finally there and now we just need to create a new variable for each one of these so we'll say underscore funder same one for mist and the last two overcast and finally snow and as always we'll go through and we'll just quickly change the comments so we'll say funder mist overcast and finally snow again so now what we do is we create a variable which is an emission module and then we're going to come to our start function and that emission module, in this case, we'll say sun clouds. It's now going to be equal to the particle system we assign in our inspector. So in this case, it's going to be the sun clouds particle system. And we're going to control the emission. So we'll put dot emission and we'll close the line off and as always into the comments so we'll say in fact I'll use the uh, ex proper name here underscore sun clouds and we'll say is equal to yeah we'll say the sun clouds particle system and then we'll copy this line again four more times and I'm sure you've guessed exactly what we're going to do we're just going to swap out the variable here for each and every one of them so nearly done and the last one snow we'll just tidy up the comments again and as always we'll go through and we'll just change the comments here and here and finally again for snow at the front and then we'll just change this one here so we'll delete all of that and we'll say funder and again we'll go through for mist and we'll say for overcast and for snow and we also need to do it here it's going to be equal to the old thunder storm particle system the old mist particle system uh, 
overcast particle system and finally again for the snow particle system and again we'll just go through and we'll just bring these back into line and we'll save it there and we'll just go through this again we create an emission module and give it a naming convention that emission module is then equal to the particle system we assign in the inspector and it's the emission we want and we're going to come to peak weather the one where we disable all the particle systems before it moves to a weather state and we can actually delete all of that I'll leave the equal is false and we'll just use the new variable so this time it's going to be sun clouds the new variable dot enabled and we've left the equals is false so it's disabling the particle system and again we'll go through this just as before funded dot enabled miss dot enabled overcast dot enabled and finally again for the snow dot enabled and we'll just tidy up the comments again so this works pretty much as before because the new variable is now equal to the particle system and its mission and the enabled state is equal to false and we'll just save that off there and I think we'll leave it here for this video and we'll pick this up in part two so I hope to see you then and bye for now